Hello guys and welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the captivating world of anime. Today we're diving into the realm of romance and harem anime, exploring the top 10 series where the main character reigns supreme in popularity. Get ready for a journey filled with love, laughter, and perhaps a touch of jealousy. Let's jump right in. Chained Soldier Yuki Wakura realizes after his high school graduation that it has been five years since his sister disappeared after a Meito disaster. Throughout Japan, unexplained portals have opened to a dimension known as Mado, a demonic metropolis populated by terrible monsters known as the Shuki who endanger human lives. However, a fresh hope arose when they discovered a Mado fruit that only offers superhuman skills to women, allowing them to combat the Shuki. As a result, a new matriarchal government was established, with a female organization known as the anti divin Corps, pushing men to the bottom of society. When Yuki unexpectedly finds himself in Mado, he is unable to escape on his own. But just as he is about to be killed by the Shuki, a girl dressed in a militia uniform enters and saves him. Kyuka Yuzen, the chief of the 7th unit of the anti divin Corps, is ambitious but undervalued by her own peers because her power is considered exceptional. In a life or death scenario, Kyuka uses Yuki to discover the full potential of her superpower. In order to beat the Shuki, he must become her slave. The Dreaming Boy is a realist. Wataru Saju is well known at school for relentlessly pursuing his crush, Aika Nasukawa. His typical day involves around stalking her and proclaiming his everlasting love at every opportunity. However, a moment of insight causes Wataru to abandon his juvenile behavior and accept the fact that she would never reciprocate his one-sided feelings. He removes himself from Aika, spending his newfound free time with his friends and other gorgeous girls. As Wataru moves on, Aika begins approaching him in unusually provocative ways, making him wonder if giving up on his love was the right decision after all. Girlfriend, Girlfriend Naoya Mukai is having the time of his life when his childhood pal Seiki Seiki finally accepts one of his many confessions. To ensure the longevity of their relationship, he makes every effort to express affection to his now beloved partner. After months of planning, another girl called Najisa Menes unexpectedly confesses to Naoya one afternoon. Despite his courteous rejection, Najisa's alluring charisma and persistence continue to entice Naoya. Naoya proposes a ridiculous proposal to gratify Saki and Najisa's desires, date both of them at the same time, with both females fully aware. This exceptional state of circumstances leads to bizarre and entertaining scenarios in whatever they do to keep their odd relationship continuing. In another world with my smartphone, God unintentionally strikes down Tuya Mochizuki with a stray bolt of lightning. As an atonement, God grants him one wish and the opportunity to live again in a magnificent fantasy realm. Tuya gladly accepts the offer and wishes simply to have his smartphone with him as he embarks on his voyage into this mystery planet. Starting again in this new world, Tuya discovers that it is full of magic, which he enjoys, as well as gorgeous girls who want his attention. These girls, the twins Linz and Els Silhueska, Yumina Ernia Belfast, Lean, and Ye Kokono provide Tuya with endless sexual disappointments, as well as company, while he discovers the secrets of this new realm. Temple Akimitsu Akagami's father taught him from a young age that humans cannot live alone. However, beneath the seemingly reasonable advice lurks a truth that corrupts it. Sons of the Akagami dynasty are notorious for being horrible playboys. Determined to clear his family name's reputation, Akimitsu avoids girls for the rest of his life, only to succumb to his bloodline's impulses and fall in love at first sight. In a last-ditch effort to free himself of these desires, Akimitsu visits a neighboring monastery and seeks Buddhist training. However, turmoil ensues as the girl he had fallen for arrives at the door, 
After the hubbub has subsided, he realizes that the temple is actually a nunnery from which his father borrowed millions before fleeing. Akimitsu is now working at the nunnery to repay his outstanding bills, and he is doing his best to remain celibate while surrounded by attractive girls of all kinds. The Café Terrace and its Goddesses After his grandmother Sachiko dies, Hayato Kasukabe returns from Tokyo and inherits her business, Familia Café Terrace. He intends to demolish the café and turn it into a parking lot, only to learn that his grandmother had taken in five girls before her death. The girls, Uka Makuzawa, Akane Huoji, Ryo Tsukishima, Shirajiku Ono, and Amy Saruga, clearly have a strong link with Sachiko, and they understandably refuse to leave the area they call home. They persuade Hayato to rethink his views, albeit grudgingly. Hayato recalls his relationship with his grandma and his fondness for the cafe as a result of this experience. Hayato, now determined to carry on his grandmother's heritage, recruits the girls to serve as the goddesses who will ensure the preservation of this beautiful sanctuary. The Demon Sword Master of Excalibur Academy The war against the forces of evil is coming to a conclusion, with the undead king Leonis Death Magnus as the only survivor of the Dark Lords. Leonis buries himself deep underground in order to reincarnate a thousand years later and recreate his demonic army, knowing he has no chance against his adversaries alone. Everything has changed over the course of a millennium. People no longer remember the epic conflict that resulted in Leonis' fall and instead face a new threat, horrific creatures known as voids. Magical gadgets have supplanted magic, and people with unique abilities, embodied in weapons known as holy swords, train at the Excalibur Academy to combat the voids. Leonis is reborn as a ten-year-old human boy and meets Resilia Ray Crystallia, a devoted girl who stumbles onto the remnants of his hibernation chamber. Resilia, believing Leonis has amnesia, counsels him and enrolls him in the Excalibur Academy. Leonis still aims to take over the world, but he must first become acquainted with a reality that is vastly different from anything he knows. A couple of Kokus Naji Yumino and Erika Amano, a studious high school student and a social media celebrity, had nothing in common until they discovered they had been swapped at birth. When the unexpected news is delivered to both of their families, their parents swiftly create a proposal that neither Nagi nor Erika are aware of, in order to restore them both to their rightful families and ensure everyone's happiness, the two should become engaged. When notified of this, Naji and Erika immediately reject the ludicrous proposal, refusing to comply with their parents' wishes. However, with neither party prepared to back down, only time will tell how their relationship develops. Romantic Killer Anzu Hoshino only requires three things in her life, video games, chocolate, and her pet cat. Unlike the other high school girls, Anzu has neither time or interest in romance. However, as she begins playing a poorly developed 3D Otom game, a strange winged wizard named Riri appears on the screen and addresses Anzu as Subject One, the first person to experience a dating game harem tale in real life. Despite Anzu's vehement objections, Riri seizes her favorite possessions to force her to focus on love. Riri orchestrates a series of unfortunate events and romantic cliches that lead her to meet Tsukasa Kazuki, one of the most gorgeous boys at her school. Anzu, still outraged, is determined to reject Tsukasa's charm. As all of the ridiculously manufactured events help Anzu warm up to Tsukasa's pleasant personality, Riri throws other stereotypically attractive lads her way, making avoiding romance nearly impossible. The 100 Girlfriends Who Really, 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 Really Love You Rentaru Eiju has it all. Attractiveness, intelligence, athletic ability, and popularity among peers and mentors alike. Unfortunately, none of these attributes benefit Rentaru's romantic life. On the day of his middle school graduation, he gets rejected for the hundredth time in a row by a girl he admits he likes. Down on his luck, 
He visits a matchmaking shrine and hopes to finally meet a sweetheart in high school. When the shrine's god appears in front of him, Rentaru is warned that he would meet a staggering 100 soulmates in high school. Though Rentaru initially dismisses this foretelling, his suspicions are dispelled when, on the first day of school, he meets two of these soulmates, Hakari Hanazono and Karain Inda, who both confess to him. Rentaru's life is about to get a lot more eventful, thanks to fated encounters and heartfelt admissions. So these were the top 10 romance harem anime where the main character is super popular. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any videos like this in the future. Keep sharing your thoughts with us down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.